Hey guys, Oracle Database fans, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial, I am going to show you how to disable a variable substitution in an SQL statement um, within SQL Plus. Okay, so uh, let's show you how, uh, let's show you uh, what we're doing here. So set the Oracle SID to finance in our operating system. Ensure that variable is set properly, which it is. And let's connect to our finance database via our SQL Plus program. Connected. Now we do a show user to ensure we're connected as the SysDBA user. And type in select name to the dollar sign database to ensure we're connected to the correct database, finance, which we are. Now, prior to shooting this video, I created a table called um, names. And to define the physical structure of the names table, you use the DESC command, which stands, which is short for describe. So DESC names, okay? And this is the names table. And the names table has one column named fname with character type vcar2. Now I populated this table with two rows. And to see all the rows in the table, type in select asterisk from names. And here are the two rows that are populated in this names table, John and Minka. Now, let's say that you only wanted to return the F name column from the F name row, which has the value of Minka in it. Well, that's a simple select statement. You would say select F name from names where F name is equal to Minka. Now, basically what we're saying here is select the F name column from names where the F name row is equal to Minka. So that should only return the Minka row in our um, SQL select result set. We hit enter. There it is, Minka. Now, let's say that you wanted to use a variable here and here. Well, you can do that by setting a variable with the following command. Set, I'm, I'm sorry, define var equals, and let's say f name, like so. And we do define, and we type in define var and we see that our var variable is set to the value of f name. So now what we could do is we could type in select ampersand f name, I'm sorry, var from names where ampersand var is equal to Minka. Now what this is going to do is since the var variable is set to f name, this is um, SQL plus is going to translate this to select value of var to value of var, which is f name, from names where value of R, which is F name again, equals Minka. Okay, we hit enter. And basically that's what it's showing us. It's showing us that it received this, the, with these, this select statement with these two variables, but it translated it to these two because it was set, Minka. Okay, now let's say that we were to undefine that variable, the var variable, when we do that with the following command. So we do a define var, and we see that var is set to F name. If we type an undefined var, and now type in define var, we will see that we get the message symbol var is undefined because we undefined that variable, we unset it, okay? So now when we type in a select statement which references ver to the, these variables twice, which are, which are not currently defined, okay? SQL is gonna see that and SQL is gonna ask us for the value. So we type in F name for the first variable, well, reference to the first variable that's not undefined and we type in F name for the second variable reference that's undefined, F name, F name, and bam, our SQL statement um, succeeds. Okay, so we're, we're caught up on variables and how we can use uh, the substitution. These are called variable substitutions um, in a uh, select statement in SQL+. Plus. Now, um, there is a turn off sub, uh, variable substitution and you do that with a following first thing to do is to is if we use the show command in sql plus which shows parameter set for sql plus and we say define what we're going to get is we're going to get an ampersand that's that's telling us that the current character for um for variable substitution is ampersand Okay, saying that the ampersand means that the characters that follow it is a variable. That's what it tells SQL Plus. To turn this off, we type in the following. Find, sorry, set, find 
off. Okay, so define is now off. All right, it, do, it doesn't show a character, which means it's enabled. It says define off. So set define off turns substitute, um, turns substitution off. So now, if we try to execute, so now let's go ahead and let's set, let's define our var to f name like we did before. Set var, I'm sorry, define var. And we see that var variable has been set to f name. So now we're going to execute our select statement, okay, referencing that variable that's been set to f name. And we should be good. Nope, doesn't work. Even though we set the variable, okay? Well, maybe this is weird. Let's just unset our variable here. And let's try it. Nope, same problem. Okay? So, so it doesn't matter if it's set or not. The, if the variable has been set to a value or not, you cannot substitute it while define is off. Okay, so set and define off sub uh, turn, uh, disables uh, variable substitution in in uh, SQL statements such as select. Now to turn it back on, you type in set define on like so. We do a show define, and we see that the default character for substitution which is an ampersand, is now set again, which means it's enabled. Now, remember, our var variable is set to f name. Now, when we type in this, the select statement, which references this set variable, it works. And again, if we, un, if we undefine this variable, and we run the select statement that references the undefined variables, we would have to provide the values for each one, which we do, and that works again, all because we enabled the define parameter in SQL Plus. Okay, and by default, it is enabled, and it's enabled to use this character. Okay, that's how you disable variable substitution in, in uh, SQL st uh, Plus statements. Thank you.